Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Mark and usually I talk about photography and camera gear and travel and pretty much whatever else I feel like. But today, I'm talking about the Peak Design Travel Tripod. Now you may remember I made another video about the Travel Tripod before it came out uh, last year. Um, and I got one in the mail in the fall and I unboxed it and just didn't edit the video. Um, then I let my friend borrow it and uh, that was right before quarantine and he's had it ever since. So he used the link down below in the description to purchase me another one and ship it to me so that we didn't have to see each other. So welcome to the second unboxing of the Peak Design Travel Tripod. Now, if you have any questions during the unboxing of this video, please leave them as comments below and I'll do my best to answer every single one that I can. Also, I use affiliated links in my descriptions to uh, earn a small commission if you purchase through those links. So please do me the favor of uh, purchasing through those links so that you can continue to support my channel and support me. All right, let's jump right in. So if you're really into packaging, Peak Design definitely has you covered. Uh, their bags and all of their products always come nicely packaged. And the uh, travel tripod is no exception. Like this box is this heavy, cardboard situation and look at this. That's kind of cool. Inside, the tripod has its own nice little case and uh, this kind of material is that same sort of um, like ballistic nylon that they use for all of their bags so it's super durable. You'll also be able to hook on Peak Design quick release straps if you wanted to strap this on to your, your person uh, and just carry it that way but there is a nice carry handle and it does fit inside of pretty much any Peak Design bag or most of the other camera bags that I have too. Now, right out of the box, your tripod is pretty much ready to use and it comes with a standard issue Peak Design plate. You'll just attach that to the bottom of your camera or even uh, another kind of clip device like, uh, like this phone clip. Now, you won't need an extra phone clip because there's one included in here and I'll show that to you in a second. These plates are interchangeable with all the other Peak Design products like their, their clips and their straps. They also have these quick release tabs to attach them onto their camera straps. Opening up the tripod is actually kind of a breeze. Um, I like to open all of the tabs in one motion and then that way you can uh, open the whole thing at once. It's real easy to kind of do it that way rather than having to twist and turn every single one of these. Really easy to set up. The center column you're gonna move by this little this little screw that goes in and out. You just pull it out, you can unscrew the twist and then your center column will come up too. So you've got pretty decent height. I mean, I'm basically at eye level here. So if you're gonna use this to sort of film yourself, um, this is gonna work in most cases. So once you've set your sticks in place, uh, the ball head was designed to be used in one, with one hand. So it's really easy to just twist this center piece right here and loosens it up. And you can move this ball head all around. You can also go a full 90 degree rotation. So if you're gonna switch in from, you know, from landscape to portrait or film vertical video, it's really easy to switch over. There's also a built-in level right on here. So it just makes it really easy to use. Um, once you've got it in place, you just tighten up this and that's not going anywhere. Now, as far as hooking your camera onto here, the uh, mechanism to do so is uh, pretty simple. There's this little twist lock situation. So once you have it set to unlock, you can just push this tab and the clip comes right out. So I'm just gonna use my extra phone clip that I have here. And I've already got one of the Peak Design uh, clips right onto the bottom here. It goes, real, it goes in real easy. You just clip it down so it's not locked like this, but it's definitely not coming out. And just for extra security, you can turn this over and lock it, and then you don't have to worry about this thing going anywhere at all. Now, if you wanna see that with a real camera, oh, this is a big one. So this is the EOS R with a 28 to 70 F2. This is like a very heavy setup, um, but this just clips right in here just like this, goes over to lock, and then you are good to go. And uh, here we are, ready to film on our Peak Design tripod. So same thing coming off, it's real easy. You just unlock that back lock, hit the tab, and then you're off to the races. Oh, now I gotta get this thing back up here. All right, back to center, perfect. 
So the main reason that I purchased this tripod was due to its compact size. It's only a little bit over three pounds and the way that the legs all come together leaves like pretty much no dead space. So compared to another travel tripod that I have, which let me, let me one sec. Now, this is what most other travel tripods are gonna be. Now, this fits in my carry-on. It sort of fits in my backpack. It's about the same size, uh, you know, height-wise as the Peak Design one. Um, but look at all this dead space in between the legs. So if you're putting this in your carry-on bag, like, it's just soaking up so much extra space that, you know, it just ends up being useless. And if you're packing for a longer trip or you're trying to pack as efficiently as possible, then, you know, it's not that great. So I do a lot of traveling for work, or at least I used to before COVID. Uh, and that's why I picked it up. It's so lightweight. It fits in all the bags that I have. Uh, it fits with all the other Peak Design products. I just really thought that this was gonna be great. And I was super excited about it when it first got launched. But, you know, here it is, it's finally in my hands. And I love it. Uh, one of the other things that's included with the tripod is actually this phone mount. It's right down here at the bottom. You just pull it out and rotate, and then that phone mount pops right out. So the phone clip clips in the same way as the camera clips do, and then your phone, just with the spring action, can just go right in here. Again, just adjust the ball head the way that you need to in order to get your shot set up. And it's easy to just switch right over and film right on your phone. Super easy. When you're done, folds right back up, goes into the bottom. Put this little clippy clip back in there. And it's great that it has this uh, little, little hook on here so you can hang your bag for extra weight to weight this down a little bit more. But it's aluminum construction. It's you know geometrically shaped, so it's super sturdy. Um, this is not a uh, unstable travel tripod by any means, especially compared to some of the other ones that I've used. So one of the things that I love about all Peak Design products is that they all come with a lifetime warranty. Now they call this their no rhetoric warranty. And uh, basically that means that like if it stops functioning or stops functioning safely, they're gonna replace it with one in the same condition or, or better. That doesn't apply to like scrapes or scuffs or that kind of stuff. Those are just, you know, road worn battle scars. Um, but if it stops working or one of these clips breaks or something like that, they're gonna replace that product. And I've actually had them replace one of my clips in the past. So um, they're really easy to work with. They're super great. I've also left links to purchase from directly from the Moment site. They actually have quicker shipping available in most cases and the prices are exactly the same as Peak Design. I've got a great relationship with Moment and uh, I think that you'll find that their website is really super easy to use and offers all the same things that if you, if you purchase directly from Peak Design. Now, if you could do me a favor and don't purchase from Amazon, um, I think that would be great for you know the rest of humanity and you know I don't think Jeff Bezos needs any more money. So my slider motor broke, apparently. So we're on the manual slide. I don't know what that's all about. So if you're looking for a lightweight, travel friendly, easy to use, easy to set up, easy to break down, lifetime guaranteed tripod, uh, this is the one that I would highly recommend. If it's in all of your camera bags, it's gonna fit in your carry-on. This is just the one to get. So use the links down below in the description and pick them up while they're in stock.